to the south of the city, even more snow, cars, driveways, sidewalks, all covered with several inches of accumulation. Amy Watt has spent the day in Uniontown, which had some of the biggest snowfall totals. Amy. Ken, it sure did, and we are live in Uniontown along one of those side streets here. This is Robinson Street, and you can see all that's really left here is just slush, and that's really what we saw throughout the city of Uniontown today. Slush and water on the roads on both the side and main streets, but the big concern tonight is all of this turning to ice as the sun continues to go down and those temperatures continue to drop. Snow was on Francis Squire's mind as he spent part of the day cleaning off his car. Get it cleaned off so I can go get some uh, stuff for my wife that she needs. However, he is well aware that the cold temperatures and wet roads are a perfect storm for ice. There's going to be icy spots, but uh, uh, I've driven all my life in this. and it's, You do what you have to do. You know, Make sure your car's, car's in good shape. Make sure you have good tires. That's where Charlie Marcinko comes in. With everybody forecasting the snowstorm like they were for the past couple of days, all week long we've been busy, you know, putting on winter tires, exchanging people's all seasons and putting their snow tires on, purchasing new tires, just making sure that their cars are up to snuff. And Marcinko anticipates staying busy for a while, especially after the amount of snow the city saw. The roads are very bad. They were really bad last night. I was actually kind of surprised this morning when I woke up and came into work because I live out in Fairchance. But he says he loves it, something he and Judy Matty don't have in common. I wish it didn't snow this much, but you do what you have to do. You have to be able to get out in the future so you clean it off. Now, we talked to Uniontown City uh, Public Works Director today, who tells me he has crews on standby tonight just in case things start to get even more icy for people out on the roads. And the same goes for PennDOT District 12, who covers Washington, Green, Westmoreland, and Fayette counties. They're doing the same thing. They actually are out and about and plan on being out throughout the night as well, monitoring those icy conditions. Now coming up tonight at six, we'll have some tips from road crews for you if you need to head out on those roads so you know what to do in case you head into a tough spot. Reporting live from Uniontown tonight, Amy Wattis, KDK News.